this video we will learn how to draw a protein complex and Adobe Illustrator. So I've drawn a lipid bilayer. If you want to learn how to draw this particular lipid bilayer, then uh, look at my other videos on how to do that. Um, I want to put a black background, so I'm going to go over here to the rectangle tool. If you don't see, it doesn't look like a rectangle, just click and hold and then click over to the rectangle tool. I'm going to click the fill as black. I'm going to go up here to the top left to see intersect. Click and hold the left mouse button and go all the way down to the bottom right of the screen to see intersect. Release. And then I'm going to right click, go down to arrange, send to back. Then go over here to layers. If you don't see layers on the on the right, go up to the window on the top menu click on it and then go down to layers option and then click and drag it over and I'm going to lock this rectangle so I won't be allowed to click on it make things easier for me so now I want to draw that protein complex I'm going to hold the alt key and spin my mouse wheel to get about as close as I want click over here to the pencil tool and then I'm going and if you don't see the pencil tool you might see a pencil in a circle just click and hold and go down to pencil and then I'm gonna click over here and I'm gonna click neon green to fit the neon color scheme that I have here I wanna hit the enter key this shows the options of the pencil tool I wanna drag that this little uh, ball over here to, to right about that position I'm gonna click OK and I'm just gonna draw click, clicking with my left mouse button and holding down something that looks like that. I want to make sure that I end up right where I started so that it connects these two, the, these, this line together and forms a complete object. If it doesn't, let's say, let's say I were to uh, say I drew this circle like this and I didn't quite made up. Well, I can just redraw it just redraw that endpoint okay see so notice that I'm it just corrects over what I had previously drew okay so I'm going to switch these um, the stroke with the fill that's what this little double arrow does okay and I'm going to inflate this this will turn it from a 2d cartoon into a sort of a three-dimensional globular like protein go up to effect go down to 3d materials and click inflate so what this does is it inflates this object like a balloon like as if you just inflated it with air and um, it imply and it applies a light source and and a shadow or shading on that object for you it's a really awesome new feature of Adobe Illustrator so I'm gonna. I, the light source in the cartoon um, lipid bilayer in the back is from the top. Is on the top left. You can see this glare on the um, polar head groups. That kind of indicates that the light's coming in from the top left and shading the these polar head groups on the bottom right. So I want the light source to come up to, on the top left. So I'm gonna go over here to lighting. And I'm going to click top left. So you see the light source is now coming from the top left and is putting some shade on the bottom right. That's exactly what we want. Okay, let's click on the selection tool over here. I'm going to drag this over so it's right on top of the membrane. And then now I'm going to draw my next protein. So I'm going to click on the pencil tool. This time I'm going to click orange. Again, fitting with that neon color and I'm going to just draw another protein like that and then I'm going to click this um, double arrow to switch the fill and the stroke so that it becomes the fill and then I'm going to click effect and then inflate I go over here to lighting and then click top left and then I'm going to draw another protein this time Let's do cyan. Oh. 
I'm going to undo Control Z because I didn't want to change the color of this object here. So to draw a new new object, I'm going to click on the selection tool, click away, and click on the pencil tool again. Draw another globular like protein. Click on the fill, click cyan, and then remove the outline. Go up here to effect, inflate, go down to lightning, click top left. If these were really three dimensional objects and the light source was on the top left, this blue protein would be casting a shadow onto these other proteins. So we're going to do that. We're going to click on this object here, click on effect, click down to stylize, and then drop shadow. Now you'll have to play around with this drop shadow to get exactly what you want depending on the size of protein that you're, you're drawing. So right now I have an X offset, so this changes exactly where that shadow is going to be relative, relative to the original object. I put it at 2 and this is, a, is just in the Y direction. Again, I'm going to put that at 2. Here's the blur. This is how, how blurred out you want that drop shadow to be. So this would convey distance from the, the, the behind objects. So do something like, like that. And I'm going to click OK. So I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to click on that object, click on Effect, and then click Drop Shadow. And I'll apply the same settings as I had previously. Click OK. And we can even do it for this underlying protein. Effect, Drop Shadow. Click OK. So now I'm going to zoom out. And I'm going to, I'm going to draw maybe some cytoskeletal filaments connecting up to this globular assembly. So I'm going to draw something like that. And they're disappearing because I, um, I have an applied appearance to them. So I'm going to select them. Okay. Now I'm going to pick, I don't know, red. Let's make them really thick. What we're going to do is turn these into tubular like objects. So I'm going to use the inflate tool again. So I'm going to click the first one, effect, 3D and materials, inflate, click on this one, effect, apply inflate. And then now I'm going to pick the, I'm going to change the lighting again, top left, top left, top left, and top left. So now these have a 3D appearance themselves, and we're going to move them so that they're going to be under this uh, assembly. So I'm going to select all these objects. And then I'm going to click on Control, use, and then click on, while I'm holding Control, I'm going to click on the left bracket. So the left square bracket. And then that will bring it behind this globular, globular unit. And that is how you draw a protein assembly in Adobe Illustrator.